probably been looking at her like a snack since she was five. That's fucking gross. She always got something to say. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> we gonna cry a little. I can't laugh a lot. I, I like her. Keep keeping it real. Keep it real. Keep it in the right spot. Come on, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Well, what's going on, you guys? And welcome back to another video. I'm your girl, Jamaica. Of course, let's just go ahead and cut straight into this. If you have never been here before, you're new to the channel, you've never seen this face, there's no word that we can fix that. Go ahead, the subscribe button and that notification bell. And just like that, I have fixed all your problems, okay? You here, we here, we together, let's get into it. So y'all heard about it, it's all over Facebook. Now I don't have a Facebook, but I got nosy family members who be sending me stuff, uh, links and stuff. That's how I know about it. Anyways, apparently it's this guy in Florida who has married his goddaughter. Let me just make sure, because I, I gotta make sure my facts is right. Florida man is going viral for marrying his goddaughter as soon as she graduated and turned 18 years old. I've seen the video, the live that she had on Facebook talking about she's 18, she's grown, she can do what she wanna do, they have a kid together. Um, she can do what she wanna do. That's facts. We live in a world and a generation where people are doing what the hell they want to do. And I don't care how crazy it looks, how strange it is. Uh, they just do what they want to do. So, she got that one. He knew better. You know, I hear the backstory is that her dad, I don't know, isn't around or he's incarcerated, some shit like that. The mom is on drugs. It's looking like the family didn't really give her any structure. It's looking like she didn't have anybody to look up to. She didn't have anybody in her corner to uh, give her what she needed to be mentally. What we have to understand about this is when you're 18, we all make dumb decisions when we're 18. Everyone has done something that they look at when they're 30 years old like damn why did I do that this is her thing this is gonna be her thing parents you didn't know that your friend was a child I'm not gonna say it's a child molester I don't know people call it grooming like how he was grooming her and that could have very much so been the case uh, for you to be a godparent that is not your role your role is not to come on to the child it's not a cute story to tell when you tell somebody how y'all are mad and you're like oh I've been doing her forever I raised her like at some point the story it gets a little like Ugh. It's hard to judge. First of all, who slow it down? I don't judge nobody and what they do. That is between y'all and God. If you know it's wrong in the heart of your heart, in the gut of your stomach, if, if you know it's wrong and you're doing it at this point between you and Jesus, I'm not here to judge you. I've made my own mistakes, my own fuck ups, cool, whatever. However, I've never felt like when it comes to adults and kids, it was okay. And the fact that you married somebody at 18, it is looking a little grooming. It's looking a little grooming. It's looking like as you watched her grow up, you started looking at her a certain type of way. And you, let me tell you something. <laughs> That's what I'm saying about her not having no, no real person in your life as a little girl. You have a man that has been probably since the age of five looking at you like oh yeah I'm gonna date her when she turned 18 like oh she look good like let's like, oh, give you the chills let's <laughs> give you the chills <laughs> give me the chills it's so many perverted men and that is why a lot of women a lot of families you need to pay close attention so who you let in your home? You need to pay close attention to who you have around your kids. I hear a lot of young little girls, and I'm going to call them young. I don't care how old you are. It's a young ass thought. Have men around their little girls. Like, it could be a boyfriend they just met. And it's like, oh, he going to come, and he going to be here with me and my daughter. Or he going to be with my daughter while I'm gone. Or, you know, he really good with her. That's too much. That's too much. If I had a daughter... Or for, for anybody that has a daughter, I feel like if a man that I'm just meeting that's not her father, you not meeting my daughter at a certain age. Like, when I say that, I mean like, at a certain point in our relationship, you haven't met my daughter. We have to be like so, the relationship would have to be like so good, you know, for so long before you meet any of my children. Because being is molesting little girls and little boys, you just never be too sure. So you don't just allow anyone around your child. You especially don't allow anyone around your daughter because shit like this happens where, like I said, he probably been looking at her like a snack since she was five. That's fucking gross. But she's 18 now. And the facts are, and the truth is, no matter how we feel about it, <laughs> 
She is grown. She just does and grown. You don't know the difference between mature and grown. She's not mature and grown. Kids couldn't wait to turn 18 because they felt like 18 was when I'm grown. You used to hear all the time, I'm moving out when I'm 18. I'm doing this when I'm 18. When I'm 18, you can't tell me nothing. When I'm 18, blah, 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 blah. She's 18. She's just 18 and dumb. Okay, she's not 18 and smart. No 18-year-old is. I don't care if you live in a white family, a black family. I don't care what your story is. No 18-year-old is making mature decisions. Okay, that's just not happening. So when she turns 22, 23, 24 maybe, and that's even seeming like a little bit too early, 30, you gonna be looking at this question like, damn, that was on me. She gonna start looking at it like, that's disgusting. I will hope so, I will hope something her head told her at some point in her life, what was I doing? And what was he doing? Cause he a pervert, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what was we, what was going on? But right now she cute, she popping all over Facebook and live, you know, telling people to stay out her business and you know, it's her business. But it's nasty. Women, mothers, aunties, female guardians, there needs to be a whole type of protection when it comes to your children, especially your daughters. You cannot just be letting men in and around your space. You cannot just be letting men come over. You know, can you pick my child up from school or can you stay home with my child? Like, I don't fucking know you. I don't care how good we do stuff over there in that bed right there. I don't care how, you know, good you tend to be. I don't care if you have kids. Men who have kids don't care about molesting other people's kids. That's like a twist it. It's people out there, it's men out there who have kids who will still do shit to your kids. They probably do shit to their own kids. And if not, that ain't gonna stop them from doing shit to your kids. So, there's no excuse as to why you should be leaving your child along with a man. Why you should be allowing him in the space to spend the night. Especially if you have girls that you know are out there. And when I say out there, I mean like, not that all your daughter is a hoe, but if you know your daughter likes to walk around the house like this. If you looking at your child and you can tell, okay, my daughter, she acting a little fast. Then you really should be saying I can't have no company or no, you can't come in. Not because you don't want your daughter to be hitting on him, but because you know that I know my child likes to be like this. And I don't need no mishaps. I'm still going to kill you. Okay, no matter what she do, I'm still going to kill you. So, well, you got to start looking at this being smart. It ain't about just the men sometimes. It's about knowing who your child is too. If I know my daughter is fast, I'm not bringing no niggas around. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to kill you. Now, she going to get whatever she's going to get, but I'm still going to kill you. Don't forget that. <laughs> so, you got to be careful. Because you'll have situations like this. That is why it's important to have some type of support in your life. That's a little bit of the reason why I'm not judging this little girl. Because if that backstory really is, she didn't have a father, or her father was incarcerated, and her mom was a drug addict, what do y'all expect? What does that say about the rest of the family? Now, usually you would think maybe her auntie would have stepped up, or her uncle, or a cousin, or a great aunt, or grandma would have stepped up. But obviously that's not the case. We can have our opinion about it, and maybe that is judging, but I feel like instead of belittling her and, and cursing at her because she's young, you have to go at it from a different angle. If I ever talk to this girl, if she ever watched this video, sweetheart, I understand that shit didn't go right in your life. But this is not correct for this reason. And I know what you're thinking. You know, you gotta have them type of conversations. It's like talking to a child. Again, she's only 18. So she's not 25, she's not 30, she's not 40, she's not 50. She's 18 and she's dumb. She's 18 and she's making dumb decisions. And that's okay. It happens. Everybody has been there. So you have to talk to her as if she's a child and you're trying to get her to see that you cannot put this fucking uh, square inside the circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta talk to her like that. I wish them luck. There are a lot more things in the world going on. That's more important. Just saying. Who she chooses to get her coochie to? Uh, who she chooses to have kids with? Who she chooses to marry? Godfather, goddaddy, um, whomever. By all means, she's at an age where it's just looking good to her. Okay, and she's feeling like, oh, she's settled. La, 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 girl. Okay, look. I had to come in here. I had to say that because it had to be said. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying that she's young and dumb. <laughs> okay, let me just say that. She's young and dumb. And if it's any young mothers out there, if this don't make you zone in and be like, nah, I'm just not letting any man into my home. I'm just not letting any man into my children's lives. Then you need to <laughs> zone in on yourself. Because this is exactly why you are supposed to keep your children and your personal life almost separate. 
You know, this is exactly why you don't be like, I met this guy today, come meet my kids. This is why you don't go calling anybody a godfather or a godmother, okay? You just never know. You just, you can never be too sure. If you got sons, it's, it's women molesters out there, don't ever get twisted. It's women predators. Just like it's, it's men predators. So don't ever get a twist. Never feel like, oh, she, she's a woman. She's not. Nah, I done heard a lot of stories about women doing things to little boys, and I'm going to kill you the same. Okay. So, <laughs> with that being said, I got two cents, you know. Make sure y'all following me. Make sure you guys are keeping up on the vlog, Jamaica Talks. I'll leave it here. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Girl is Nationwide. I say it all the time. Because you're not going to get everything here. So, follow my back pages. Leave a comment. Say, hey, hi, hello. Don't be afraid to speak. I don't bite. I speak back. And then that note, peace.